Donald Trump's UK refusal is an OWN goal for Theresa May who needs him for. Dr. Alan Mendoza from the Henry Jackson Society claimed that the decision from Mr. Trump will worsen the UK's position in relation to others. He said, it is a known goal for the UK if the threat of mass protests has prevented the president of our closest ally from attending an embassy opening. President Trump has already visited many of our international partners, so this extreme virtue signaling will do nothing but worse in our position in relation to others. A solid UK-US relationship is essential for a post-Brexit UK's global success, and whatever the personal view of Trump, his office should be respected. Donald Trump announced yesterday that he will not be visiting the UK to open the new US embassy as plans for a full state visit were postponed. He tweeted, Reason I cancelled my trip to London is that I am not a big fan of the Obama administration having sold perhaps the best located and finest embassy in London for peanuts, only to build a new one in an off location for $1.2 billion. Bad deal. Wanted me to cut the ribbon, no. Following the move, Downing Street has insisted Donald Trump is welcome in London. In a major snub to Theresa May, U.S. Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson will attend instead. Labor's Sadiq Khan welcomed the decision by claiming Trump got the message. Mr. Khan stated, It appears that President Trump got the message from the many Londoners who love and admire America and Americans but find his policies and actions the polar opposite of our city's values of inclusion diversity and tolerance. His visit next month would, without doubt, have been met by mass peaceful protests. This just reinforces what a mistake it was for Theresa May to rush and extend an invitation of a state visit in the first place. Let's hope that Donald Trump also revisits the pursuit of his divisive agenda. Boris Johnson then skewered the pompous mayor for putting the crucial relationship between the UK and US at risk. He tweeted, the U.S. is the biggest single investor in the U.K., yet Khan and Corbyn seem determined to put this crucial relationship at risk. We will not allow U.S.-U.K. relations to be endangered by some puffed-up pompous popping in City Hall. Theresa May and Donald Trump's relationship was strained last year after she condemned him for sharing far-right videos without verifying the claims contained in the footage, he hit back attacking her directly on Twitter. The president tweeted, Theresa May. Don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine.